Hello! In this video, we'll be doing a how to play Onami. Onami is a area control strategy game. It's an abstract strategy game where it's played on a 5x5 grid. It can be played between two and six players and is recommended for people uh, of eight, ages eight and up. You start by laying the game board flat on the surface and you shuffle your, your deck of cards. Make sure that they are very well shuffled. In this particular game, we're going to be playing a two-player game demonstration. But as I said, you can play up to six players. In a uh, two to four player game, each player gets uh, five cards. In a five and six player game, each player gets four cards. So like I said, we're playing a two player, so we'll each we'll deal each player five cards. Then you put the remaining cards within reach of both players. Next we determine uh, who is going to go first. The rules state that the last person who, who saw the ocean goes first. However, if this rule doesn't work for you, feel free to, to choose randomly or some other method of your choosing. So, when you get your hand of cards, uh, you should keep them secret for yourself, but look at them. And you'll notice that there are uh, numbers on each side of the card. The number on that side of the card indicates the power of the card in that direction. The numbers will range from 0 to 9. And you can see that there are uh, different configurations of the numbers uh, for, each, for each card. Some cards are more powerful than others, but those there the rarity of those cards is a lot less. There's is a lot more. So there's fewer of uh, the more powerful cards, and some of the more common cards uh, have, have lower numbers on it. So as the first player, um, I can choose to put a card on the board anywhere I wish in any orientation that I wish. So because I know that the, the power of the cards, the lower numbers is the lower power. I'm going to choose to put this card here with my lower numbers into the corner. Then on your first turn, you get to choose which symbol you want to be. There are six different symbols, but this symbol is going to re uh, uh, represent you throughout the game. I'm going to choose to be the dragon for this player. To end your turn, you draw a card. Then it'll be the second player's turn. The second player's hand looks like this. He's got a pretty good hand. And if I choose to, um, I can choose to play again anywhere I want, but if I wanted to try to capture my opponent's square, I need to put a number adjacent, a card with a number adjacent to it that's larger than. So I will put this card here because eight is greater than six, I'm going to, for this second player, I'm gonna to choose to be the, the tree. So because eight is greater than six, I get to capture up to two cards because the difference is two. However, there's only one card to capture, so in this case, we're just going to flip this one to my tree. Then I will end my turn. Gameplay continues back and forth in this fashion until all the squares are filled and uh, the, the player with the most, um, uh, most of their tokens controlling the board wins the game. Those are the basics of Onami.